has become even more difficult. Its allies are raising questions and wondering if Germany can be trusted anymore. So what is this leak? And what does it reveal about Germany? Also, how did these top secret details come out? They leaked because German officials broke some basic rules. They discussed war plans on an unsecured phone line. These were German military officials. They made a grave blunder, and it appears that Russia intercepted this call. It managed to make an audio recording. Over the weekend, Russia today leaked this recording, and now it's being shared on social media. We have a clip. Listen to this. Yeah. So what were the Germans discussing? Well, they were talking about arming Ukraine, about the possibility of giving it some powerful missiles, like the Taurus. The Taurus is a cruise missile, one of the best that Germany has. The missile is usually fired through a fighter jet. It travels almost at the speed of sound. That's over 1,000 kilometers per hour. It can strike targets some 500 kilometers away. The Taurus can fly low at an altitude of just 35 meters, so it's extremely tough for a radar to catch it. Now, Kiev has been asking for this missile for a long time, but the German chancellor has been reluctant. A weapon which isn't even the most powerful one. A HIMARS rocket launcher achieves a lot more than a Taurus, but which has a 500 kilometer range and which, if used wrongly, can reach a concrete target somewhere in Moscow. He doesn't sound keen to give the Taurus. But could that stand change? I ask because Ukraine is increasingly looking more vulnerable. Low on weapons and morale. America's latest aid package has been stuck for months and Europe has been trying to step up to fill the gap left by the Americans. So Olaf Scholz may be forced to rethink. And that was the backdrop of this phone conversation. German generals were discussing war scenarios. What if Ukraine had the Taurus missile? Which targets would they hit? And they came up with some ideas. One of the potential targets was the Kerch Bridge. It connects Russia to Crimea. This is what the German generals were discussing on an unsecured phone line. Now that conversation has been leaked and Moscow is up in arms. Today, Russia summoned the German ambassador and registered an official protest. Russia says Germany wants to enter this war and claims that this audio leak is proof. Here we have to find out whether the Bundeswehr is doing this on its own initiative. Then the question is, how controllable is the Bundeswehr and how much does Scholz control the situation? Or is it part of German government policy of Germany? Both are very bad. Both once again emphasize the direct involvement of the countries of the collective West in the conflict around Ukraine. Russia says Olaf Scholz has lost control of his forces. They're making plans without his knowledge. And Moscow's statement was carefully crafted. It clearly defines the Russian red lines. It tells Berlin that arming Ukraine with long-range missiles would amount to direct intervention in the war. If they give the missiles to Ukraine, it means Germany is entering the war. So what is Germany's response? It's in damage control mode. It accuses Russia of information warfare. What has been reported there is a very serious matter, and therefore this will be investigated very carefully, very intensively, and very quickly. That's necessary. The incident is clearly more than just the interception and the publication of a conversation within the Air Force. It is part of an information war that Putin is waging. There is no doubt about that. This is a messy situation for Olaf Scholz. He took power in 2021. Since then, he has been on the back foot. Under his leadership, Germany's economy has been pushed towards a recession. His coalition partners are unhappy with him. Differences over policy have led to divisions. Plus, Scholz has been locking horns with Europe, mostly over the military aid to Ukraine. Now, this leak only makes his life more difficult. It shows Germany...